Ask, and you will receive. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be open to you. Matthew 7, 7. How many of us have been lost in our lives, whether it be personal relationship or in our careers? I know I definitely have. In my experience, I've seen a solution that really helps along this path, and it's knocking on doors. We always strive to find the best version of ourselves. I'll use my career as an example this time, and I'll sum it up into three sections, or three doors, that have influenced me and helped me evolve along my path. And trust me, there's been some times where I thought I was knocking on a door, but in reality, I was knocking on a brick wall. <laughs> so door number one is that of my original career, game design. I love game design. I always thought, hey, I love playing video games since I was six years old. Why not make it a career for myself? Awesome, right? And that's what I did. I studied hard. I, I went to Bloomfield College, and I got my bachelor's degree in game design. Fantastic. We were excited, my family celebrated me, and we, I could take on the world at that point. But there was something, something missing. And I just kept knocking. Door number two is that of my bartending career, my restaurant and hospitality experience. I never really thought much of it. I thought through college, I was a bartender just to get some extra money in my pocket. It was great. But then, suddenly, out of nowhere, I said, I'm going to compete. I love making cocktails. I'm going to compete, and it's going to be great. It was fun. And it was a statewide competition, and I won the competition. At this point in my life, this is the, the recipe book from the competition. At this point in my life, I said, wow, I can do anything. I can definitely be a bartender. I can do whatever it is and then really take on the world. And at that point, I said to myself, I can be a full-time mixologist. Wow. <laughs> but, of course, my uh, mother, she wasn't going to have it. I'll never forget the conversation I had with her. Jonathan, what on earth do you think you're doing? We just paid for your whole college tuition, and you're just going to throw it out the window? Come on, honey, please. And I said, Mother, I held her hand and said, Mother, Please be patient with me. I have a gut feeling that this is the right move for me. Please. It's a hard pill to swallow to have our parents. We want to make them proud every day and have them disappointed in us. It's tough. It broke me down and I felt crushed at that point. But despite the pain and it brought me to tears, I just kept knocking. Now door number three is that of my current position. Spectrum Spirits, LLC. I have moved into the importing and distributing side of the liquor industry. At this point in time, I, I figured for myself, I said, wow, this is it. This is the right path for me. I'm setting my future up. I, I have a future in the liquor industry. My partners are great and it, it's fantastic. It's a good feeling and, and I get to meet new people in the industry and I get to leverage my bartending skills and experience towards new brands, products, that we're going to bring to the market. But with this, of course, unfortunately, when we have doors that we're knocking and they're opening for us, which is great, I knocked on the door of bartending the cocktails, some people will love it and they'll support you. But unfortunately, there will also be people on the flip side that will want to bring you down. And it's even more unfortunate when it's our family. I remember flying once to Colombia, my favorite uncle Alex, I came to him, he, he had me in his arms and he, he said, son, come here, let me tell you something. Are you insane? <laughs> How are you going to throw your whole career away? You know the tradition, you go to school, you go to college, and that's the field you continue. Son, snap out of it, smell the coffee, do whatever it is, just come on, man. Of course, that hurt me here. Because I thought my whole family was behind me. They supported me. I, I evolved into a place where this was my career. And I, I thought I made it clear. 
But there are always times where there's that character that wants to bring you down. Again, I was damaged by this and it hurt me deeply. But despite, despite that, again, I just kept knocking. And so no matter how many doors I had to knock, no matter how many disappointments I had, the sadness that was on my shoulders, I never lost faith, never lost purpose, just kept knocking. And I invite you, my friends, to remember the scripture. And whenever we have a scramble in our heads, just like scrambled eggs in the morning, whenever we, we feel lost, just remember the scripture. And I leave you with this simple yet powerful message. And it is to just keep knocking. Thank you very much.